Good evening, Wolfpack. I'm Giovanna Menes. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Today is October 5th, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. Attention all students. All books must be turned in by Thursday. Here's where they will be exchanged. And remember, only certain books need to be returned. For seniors, it's government and economics. For juniors, it's MedPro 2. Sophomores, MedPros 1 and bio books. And for freshmen, it's Geo, Health, and Bio. Gia, I'm low-key hungry. Have you heard of Monchi? No. Here are Paula and Sean. Let's take a look. Hey, Wolfpack. I'm Paula Sabulo, and I'm here to tell you about a sweet Japanese dessert. In Ms. Tanaka's Japanese class, the students are learning how to cook. This month, the students learn how to make brownies with the Japanese element mochi. Mochi is a Japanese rice cake made of glutinous rice, typically grown in Eastern Asia, called mochiko. Other ingredients include water, sugar, and cornstarch. The rice is pounded into paste and molded afterwards. I decided to try this dessert for myself. Here's how it went. Okay, so the ingredients you'll need to make a mochi brownie is mochiko, which is sweet rice flour, granulated sugar, and water. So you're gonna start off and you're gonna need a small mixing bowl. Pour 3 fourths cup of mochiko into the bowl. And next you'll need to mix in two tablespoons of granulated sugar. So after you mix that in, you wanna add 2 third cups of water. So the texture you get after you mix it is kind of like gooey, it kind of looks like mashed potatoes. You're gonna add a plastic wrap over it. Then I'm gonna place it in the microwave for two minutes. Take off the plastic wrap, and then you're gonna wanna use a wooden spatula to knead the dough. It should look like this. And then you're gonna take water and dampen the sides of the bowl and cover the mixture with plastic wrap. I'm gonna put this back in the microwave for one more minute. While that's in the microwave, you can make the starch tray now with the mochiko. So the dough's done cooking, and now you're going to want to take it out of the bowl and place it on the starch tray. So this is what my starch tray looks like, and I'm going to mold this into a long shape. After you have that rolled out and shaped to the shape you want, you cut it into little squares so it can go into your brownies. I came out with eight little mochi balls. Next, you're going to preheat the oven to 325. Now it's time to make the brownies. I'm going to be making them with the Ghirardelli triple chocolate brownie mix. You're going to need a bigger bowl. Pour in the brownie mix. And then the recipe calls for one third cup of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, and one egg. After everything is in the bowl, you're going to mix it. So I finished mixing and then I, I set up a glass pan and put butter on it and placed it with parchment paper. After you got that set up, you're going to pour half of the brownie mix into the parchment paper. After half the brownie mix is in the pan, you're going to take your mochi and put it on top of the brownie mix. And then you pour the rest of your brownie mix into the pan. After the mochi is covered, it's ready to put in the oven. This is going to go in the oven for 45 minutes. It just came out of the oven and it's important to let it cool for a little bit so that whenever you cut into it, it won't be sticky. Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes and I think it's ready to eat. So here's the final product. Wow, this is really good. So the mochi came out great, and I feel like it's just like a really good combo with the brownie. So yeah, highly recommend, 10 out of 10. Thanks guys, and since the weather's been acting crazy these last couple of weeks, we started to do weather forecasts. And now here's Gia with the weather. Hey guys, I'm here with the weekly forecast. This week we will reach a high of 93 on Monday, but throughout the week we will start to climb down to 73 on Friday. On Saturday, we are expecting rain, but we will see if it changes before the week is done. But that's all. I'm Giovanna Menes, and that was our weekly forecast. Well, thanks. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Giovanna Menes, and remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a marvelous Monday, Wolfpack. Okay,